think, let's see, two horses, three ducks, five dogs, two pot belly pigs, two parakeets. A lot of people say they can't live without their pets. I nicknamed him Grumpy. But for Ted Coran and his wife Karen, it's reality. They're basically medically needed. There's things that they can do for her that modern medicine can't do for her. I can't do for her as her own husband. I, I can't stop her seizures, but somehow these animals got <coughs> Be damned. Uh, they got this sense to snap a right out of it. Karen has been diagnosed with four types of epilepsy, and she says Pinky and Ruby work better at stopping seizures than any nurse or medication. Well, he was sleeping, but for some reason he knew that I was going to have a seizure. He got right up, came to me, and he was just squealing his head off so loud that it was so aggravating that it stopped the seizure. How are you? Yeah, you got a visitor. Because of her condition, Karen can't work. And like so many Americans, Ted lost his job four weeks ago. Now he's cutting back to eating just one meal a day so he can afford $100 a week in feed and pet food. So we've been worried that uh, money's going to get tight, that we'll lose our home. Um, It'll break our hearts if we lose our animals. Right now, he says it's about getting by and not getting rid of the family members they hold so dear. They're basically a necessity in our lives.